Uh, okay, I'm, I'm back. Um, don't, don't follow you, but all right. So welcome in, welcome in, Raster. Thank you for that. Um, sorry, you did that as I ended. Um, no, I played a uh, a butt eye monster game, and uh, I think it did something to my PC. <laughs> Because it crashed, and I think it, uh, I think it crashed something. I think it crashed, like, my <laughs> graphics card. It said something. Um, so anyway, we're not playing any, we finished the butt game. Um, so now what? Oh my, oh my. Um, let's see what we got. I was not expecting that to be over in under 45 minutes. It, it took about 40 minutes to finish. And uh, you want to play Sonic? I do have a Sonic game. Do you want me to play that Sonic game? Let's see what I what have I got installed. Thank you, pieces. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll play that one. Oh, it's frozen? Oh, all right. Oh, you did? Here we go. Alrighty, so we'll play this. Is it still? Uh... Oh god. That was loud. <laughs> Sorry, the butt but I game was super super quiet. Sorry. All right, why are you not There we go. So we're gonna play this. Um, because what I saw of this was actually interesting. But yeah, it's it's free. Grab it while you can, because I don't foresee this being on there forever. Phew, made it on the train, 15 minutes ahead of the schedule. So far so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Hello, my name is... That's my name. B, did I spell that right? Yeah. Well, passengers can read my scribble. Dining car. Like, I saw this. I saw one of my, um, someone I watch on YouTube, uh, stream this, and I was like, is it for real? It was for real. Uh oh. Am I nervous? Is this my f is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, B, shake it off. I slap myself. B, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? B Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, quite all right myself. Though feeling a little bittersweet. Is that you? because you're a sweetie? Trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Last day is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. 
Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Fa ha ha. I can see why his wife's excited. What is that supposed to mean? Enough <laughs> of my quibbles. Today is your first day working in the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Okay. Let's look at the menu. Chili dog, ramen, chicken cordon bleu. That's quite the menu. Why do you look so nervous? All I have on the train is a microwave. Ha ha ha. Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. What do we serve? Chicken cordon bleu. Glad you can read the menu, okay. A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. He looks evil. Why are you hiding your eyes? This train is exclusively, okay, exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? I'll make you proud. Glad this old man can rest easy. Is the Mirage Exit or, or Express are opening. I know he missed the butt the butt monster game. Here's Amy. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. There's Vector. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did y'all expect? You you know I always go out of Hmm. You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. I can't promise I won't take anything though. Calm down there. That's funny. That's that's his outfit from the comics. Sega did make this. Surprisingly. Calm down there, Rouge. Yeah, Rouge. Uh, did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? There's a pin, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pin? What a cast of characters am- What cast of characters am I stuck with? Oh boy, this is gonna be- Yeah, say this is made by Sega. Get a hold of yourself, B. You're sweat through your new uniform. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Radio friends? Why aren't you friendly? Why can't it be normal for one second? Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. This is, they did this for, um... April Fools. Ah, sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, B, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Oh god, there's so many. There's more! Okay. Tech is free. Yeah, tech's not free. Well, hello, you two! What, may, what can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your tickets? I might have forward. Let me fetch it for you. Okay. She's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. May not actually be the best at judging character. I don't even know who this is. May I have your conductor, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. Tech on free. Yeah. That's, that's more like it. Okay, so who is Blaze? I know she was only in a couple uh, games, and I've not, I've not been 
I haven't played any of them. Princess always, or such myself, must always be punctual. Princess? Did she say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? I've never, I've never seen... I don't know what game she's from. No, I, my fandom ends at Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> That's as far as it goes. <laughs> you don't know either. Separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I, I admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, you don't say. Well, hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win it with this group? The shoot. Oh, the show Sonic X. I know there is a show called Sonic Eggs, but I never saw it. Bees are fake. I'm not fake. Dick, you don't know who Blaze is either. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Heck is Blaze. <laughs> well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Doesn't love a good bargain. An adventure mystery train sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should have her, leave her to have her own fun. Before we get moving along, or er, before we move along, for you, miss. Well, how fun! Thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door on the train. Happy birthday! Birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. I will use this wisely. Thank you. You blaze all No, you don't. So yeah, I know up until Sonic Adventure 2 and a good chunk of the um, comics. Here. Thank you. Everything's in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. Stare. Oof, so cold. B, you're shivering. Do you need to do you need me to fetch you your jacket? Ha, no, I'm good. I can talk to the arm. Hello, my friend, can I get your ticket? Uh yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Something amiss, sir? I seem to have misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. It's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, uh, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Would you please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. He's a chameleon. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. But, wow, ninjutsu? That sounds a lot... That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can he cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. Can't offer much, other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay in order to train, Sonic. Have fun now. Y yes, have fun now. Will do. Thanks. Can I get your tails, youngin? Wow, can I get your tails? Can I get your ticket? 
right here, sir. Just thinking like, he's so cute. Thank you, may I offer you any of the snacks we have aboard? No, thank you, when I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Is that a Sonic thing? I don't, I don't know that, but that one. Kirby could wreck the sun. Oh, yeah. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Ha, ah, absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good. Thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Yummy, yummy, don't mind if I do. B, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure B only gets one of these if they ask. Arm. Is the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, the train... Actually, train, the uh, conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Ha, ah, good try, young buck. I love Kirby. Train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. I did. Uh, it's it's a very, very teeny, tiny, small version of um, the thumbnail one from uh, YouTube. Trat, those snacks look really tasty too. Oops. Never mind. Okay, so I guess we just talk to people. I want to talk to people. Please excuse me, darling. Just need to freshen up before the party begins. But you already look great. Bill and I know it. You don't need to bow every time you see me. Oh, sorry. No more bowing. Got it. Or can I could take your order? Save myself a cake. Thank you, though. Are you sure? Our instant ramen doesn't disappoint. I'm quite sure. Yay! Wonder what cake Tupper Sonic picked out for me. Uh, no thanks. I'm saving room for birthday cake. Someone bring a cake for you? Yes, that was Sonic's job. Funny, Sonic looks awfully nervous all of a sudden. Aha, Sonic, why did you turn to look at the wall? Sonic? <laughs> oh. Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. Okay. What else do you need? Can I take your order? There are only three items on the menu. Sorry, sir. It's not is not everything to your liking. Just expected a bit more from a train so state of the art. Blech. Do you have the drinks listed? It's not wrong, but I'm still offended somehow. We offer water, coffee, and chow's cola as well. I'll have to take you up on the coffee soon. Just the beans and a spoon, though. I can get a read on this guy. Anything yet? Oh, we're still looking. Keep me posted, kid. Oh, I guess we have to find his ticket. Uh, so let's take it out of the napkin holder. It's a second. <sighs> okay. Well, we might just have what you need. Why don't you show our friend what we've picked up? Uh, one ticket. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks to you. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried to kick me out and miss the murder mystery. Old B here would have had their hands full of kicking you out. You're right. Wouldn't leave without a fight. Ah ha ha. Wait, who made me both microwave expert and uh, security guard? You're both, both alright in my book. Thanks again for the SES. Blech. Cannot talk anymore. <laughs> of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. That's my cue to leave. I must prepare for the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. Remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. 
to be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? This is be if they need your any help, won't you? That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please, have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place, either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to me here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for the following, or the... Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. Y'all look amazing. I trust you read your lore cards as well? Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read aloud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Now once in the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered. And the rest are suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you're, you're a ship captain, and you'll be stationed at a conductor's car. Naturally, that's where the captain will go. Tails, you're the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. I'm having such a hard time. I am struggling. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon and plays you're a titan of industry, both of that in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher and SPO the poet, both found in the library. Hear that SPO, we get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow's the locksmith hanging around in the lounge. Last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with anyone, everyone. Yeah. Just listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright. You can help ensure everyone's following the rules. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Gotcha. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Here's the game as follows. There's a murder amongst murderer amongst you all. A murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. She must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so suspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations. Yay! Oh, there's so much talking. Ah, this is so exciting. Mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. How thrilling. I have goose goosebumps. Ah, same. Isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective in the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mysteries anyway. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, well, probably inspecting their station and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, it's a flicky. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky and that decided to join the Dr. Evil Wow. Evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this kinda of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on a microwave duty. The train started moving! It's so fast! Grab onto something! What's going on? I'm slipping! Hold on! I can't! <laughs> no!
We were all murdered by the train. Oh, he's so cute. You're both awake. Y yeah. Seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone all right? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems we were knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. B, could you get the door? Of course. Hmm, seems the door is blocked, but I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a, ha a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? Suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's cat acting this way and interrog interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around in this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. You can count on me. I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Let's get searching. Let's save. What options do we have? Invincibility? Remove pitfalls. What? Okay. Oh, there's a... Okay. This is interesting. Ah, the wet floor sign. Keep people... Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Oh, so thought that counts, I suppose. What's this, a rod? Tip is broken. Looks to have originally been attached to something. Not sure it's related to a mystery, but I like spinning it around, so I'll keep it. Pick a stick. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? Want me to get out of here? Sure. Normally, I never make microwave meals, but I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook up mean cast iron pizza. I only have had microwave lunches this week. Something's always hidden in the trash. So check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? It's the latest. Found a spoon. We find two more. We can dig ourselves out. Dig yourselves out on a train. I'll keep looking. Okay. Okay. Currently not budging. Hey, B, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy to find out what really happened. Find any clues yet? Found a spoon? Okay, yeah, yeah. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. <laughs> this music. It's silly. What? You accused me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have been hiding in that time? Uh... Oh, hush, you're having... You're the one that suggested this. She attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while V and I were knocked out. She attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape. 
or help me search for a way out. B, let me step you through this. Okay, oop, uh, what's that has been deduced? We must from our are you okay? Let's do it. Oh, oh, I guess this. The crack on the shelf. What some odd some damage on the shelf is supposed to improve something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here, you're grasping. Oof, okay, Tails, now what? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, I, uh, well... Hmm, I get stumped. I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, bashing badkins. He never loses. Like, like... An endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. No. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. That's silly. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. <sighs> You're telling me how to trade this wall cap that the damage was here before we arrived? Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? This. I have already played that ass game. What is that stick? Do you truly believe a stick can do this kind of damage? I. It's a dream gear. Do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. If attached to something, it could. Let's like let's say a hammer. Heck! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. Handle to your hammer snapped right off. As you both said, I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. Give the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. Figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and devil is a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Tighten here, a little elbow of grease here, and fixed. Tails, thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, I should do the trick. Alright, stand back! Shelf completely shattered. Incredible! We did it! We're free! Great job, Amy! Let's see, let's get out of here. Hi. Why did you want me to play this one? So much talking.
Wait, is that... Oh no! It can't be! Sonic! Someone merged my darling Sonic! It like, looks like the game has begun. Finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure this. who did this too. Wait for me! What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. It's really convincing, Sonic. <laughs> Sonic's actually dead. <laughs> Sonic? Eh. Body numb. Can't move. Wait, what are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? <laughs> My hand's on his wrist, but I don't set the pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? This part of the murder mystery? Is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no, oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, what do I do? <laughs> Need you to do everything under powder. Make sure pain guests are well taken care of. You must be remarkably rich. So if I leave their care to you, be my favorite employee, sure you... Surely he won't let me down to this last on this last ride. I do not. Gosh. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. Keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. I mean, Sonic's dead. So we failed. Already. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Saloon car. <clears throat> oh, look at this place. Tails, where are you? I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. She seems she's really excited. Do you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. I'll probably put this. What if Sonic is actually hurt? Haha! <laughs> He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. We have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. It's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along? If you don't mind, is it cool that I tag along with you? Oh, of course. Uh, if you need a snack, you've got me. Ah, fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, um, it's my lure card. The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the doctor, evil Dr. Eggman. He's so cute right there. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. You varmints. What are you doing in my saloon? It's trying so hard to stay a character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <laughs> Enough of that. I wonder how long you kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated by something. But why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. B, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate. Garbage! Empty again. Sorry to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. So as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I think Tails is ignoring me. Hmm. Add the bowl of assorted nuts. Classic saloon snack. Kind of bland. Ah, seems like someone licked all of the salt off of them. What blick? Maybe they're just unsalted. Robotic arms here are really helpful. Sorry, I'm doing to my hair. 
They fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? Gee, this is interesting. What is it? I've used up a... I've, it's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Ah, Knuckles was really thirsty? Gee, this one has red lipstick on the rim. It's not a Knuckles color at all. Someone must have been here. We should log this. Used cups are added. Ah, it's the trees! Just, it looks just like the trees. Breathtaking views. All square. This train passes by some, some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, but I find myself running on the tracks a lot more than I do riding in the cards. Thank you, Aster. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it was beautiful. Okay. Um, decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Omachow. Hate to see him like this. What'd they do? Medical malpractice. <laughs> Thanks, having fun. Interesting. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. I have broken. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches? Who could have done that? What are you two looking at me for? Smash Arcade. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Glad I told you to leave me alone. I like a hat. Ugh. Knuckles, are you blushing? Seth, leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave. Uh, I can't take your order. Not hungry. You ever are. Sure, like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, B, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Ah, uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it. Okay, thought I told you to leave me alone. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It, it is? We have evidence, too. We do? What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? This. Arcade machine, ha. Makes you think I touched it. Pink. Oh god, sorry. Uh oh. Not enough rings. Cooey. Ah, uh, you're weak. Ouch. <laughs> Oh, shit. Alright. I might put it so I don't have to do this one. Alright, one more try. <laughs> shut up. Just everyone, shut up. <laughs> Set now. I don't. I don't know. 
What happened? Okay, honestly, what happened with that one? I was in the middle. I do like the music. to fix that. They... Mm -mm. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... Covered in punches. What evidence do you have at the damages or punches? What are y'all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How would you come on it? Be distract knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! Oh god again? Let's get away from the arcade cabinet. All right. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, okay. First I'm gonna save. And then options. Half. And invisibility. Because some of these are a little ridiculous and I just, this is not why I'm playing. See, I did crazy good anyway. Arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. Tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Ha. <laughs> Picture's beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beats you. In frustration, you destroy the arcade cabinet. He's punching the air in frustration. I'm guessing, where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me that he was here now. Uh, again? me a loser. I'll be able to prove Vector was here with Knuckles. The three glasses. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Oh, you were supposed to be participating. He's, he's so shocked. The murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks, playing arcade. It's, I'm, um, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, I don't tell Amy. We're on the right track here. It's 
It's as you say, Victor popped up, popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure out the game, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest. I didn't want it to be caught. That's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. All that explains one of the used cups. What are the cup the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. It's inconsequential. Not not worth worth mentioning. So he searched around for something but failed. Made fun of our game and left. Not just that one. But she offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding this scenario. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our quest. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list. Doesn't make sense. B, can you look one more time? Odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Uh, toast? Apple? Bread? Bagel? Candy? Uh. All the other names have food themes, but this one... Who here goes by Ultim? May not know B, but there's someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. Uh oh. <laughs> so there's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. All you immediately had to come you all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. And that's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her the special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking the doors? And why? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me, even though I asked them in, with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get here, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when the when we confirm things with Vector. I'll have fun. <laughs> Fair enough. Library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Whoever KO'd Sonic is an earful for me. Detective Tales and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, B. Let's head up to the library. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. B, you're coming. Are you most down to the next car? Uh, you got it. Onwards! Aww. <laughs> so cute. Oh my god. It's it's your mega character from Sonic Forces. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet, thank you. Hmm, Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Uh, any leads? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl? Ah, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This chip is just too juicy, juicy to ignore. I'll see you around. 
Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you and quick. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? Birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. First is a birthday. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, um... Making sure things go well. Things aren't going great. Why is he covered in blood all of a sudden? Not sure if you forgot, but there was murder. I mean, well, besides that. Besides murder? Ah, oh, my social skills. Not existent. I'm Vector the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from the poet to to read or meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure, um... Teardrops since the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la. Dee 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 dee. Is that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm uh, satisfied for now. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. V and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? I'm sure it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. <sighs> when we were all set off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library card. Uh, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on the cup in the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. And then she went, search she went to search the saloon car. When she came back shortly after, we heard her shout, No way! The brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. <sighs> After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? <gasps> oh. Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us that, so showing us up that uh, super monkey ball. I was, got so engrossed by the rolling the monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him, then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. <sighs> when Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived, asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be ser serenaded with the poem, I got you covered too. Thanks. That place seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving the post and determine if SVO was actually the library car reading. It's all tests, but we can do it. Get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Chow hangs precariously. precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, Hang in there! Wow, I really needed to see this. This little child's hanging in there, refusing to let his wings... Refusing to use his wings to fly to safety. Because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. But this child can stick to his principles and find strength, and I can too. There was no way there was that much thought put into this poster. Right? 
Ooh, brochures. There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh. Hey, look at this. There's a couple maps here. Seems to be a map of the library card. Uh, the books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I'll have a good overhead map. Let's take it. Uh, should we take the brochure about a cave too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, leave it. Ah, uh, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. Sadly, have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these books were knocked out by the train speeding up. The Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. Reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. Spines are all creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels sympathy for everything. Garbage. I really think it, thought there'd be something here. Are you sad that there was nothing in the trash bin? No, no, I'm all right. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Uh, yeah. We just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah. Okay. These trash bins hide a secret. I'm sure of it. You're pretty un unconventional, but I like that. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. Sonic needs me, no time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. Scavenging through all the books, titles excitedly. It's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a trained library. Ah, oh, that's odd. Now, some books have fallen on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order but this one. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. You think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it's interesting. Make a note of this. <sighs> What's this bright red book? Oh, yeah, this reeks of evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any books he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. I'm calling it the conductor's Dr. Eggman. Calling it. Live of our marvelous planets. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd like to visit some of these countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people in the shops. The food can't be beat either. Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. I don't know a Professor Pickle. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone has been everywhere, haven't they? I'll just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. B, no, don't fall asleep! There's been a murder, remember? I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. Aw, oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling to clean up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Is that it? Ooh. Chow's cola. I'm a butcher, but but they confidence getting my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually try to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef and a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hid the knife? Now, I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of this line of thought. Uh. What do you want? Off duty. Oh. Why would you show the menu to me? <laughs> Come on, B. Why would you tease him like that? Here, I thought I could trust you. You made a fool of me. Look, B, you made him a fool. 
<laughs> Can we smooth this over? No, I'm the fool. Yeah, yeah. I smooth things over, but at what cost? Wow. I think we have enough evidence. Fancy a poem? A poem about space. I made it up to space with my beloved antique vase. Then a mistake in, but a mistake in my haste dropped the vase from my embrace. So my antique I must now replace. Because you dropped the vase. Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. Hasn't thought it through, has he? Very well. Um I don't know what else I can click on. Oh yeah, yeah. <sighs> Should have left the library card he left the door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I believe we should. Okay. Now we can interrogate. So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. B and I are here to confirm two things. My vector left to play games with Knuckles, and if Espio was really reading in the library card. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library card to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence of Nit. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Victor, Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine and the saloon car, so I figured I'd check it out. It seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. And that brings our attention to you, SBO. Rouge entered the library card and found something, then left. He said that you immediately started reading. But were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library card? Of course he was. Once well, Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. That's been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you don't talk, I'll have a hunch on what that book might be. Alright, what book was he reading? The manual. Manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Oh, there's four now. Is a shh in the back. Cute. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining book on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SPO. Hey now, I won't have you insulted my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. But you're a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. B, if you don't mind. Did you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page? 362. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. 
though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SPO aced that question. Be him with another one. Okay. Uh, 231. What is Samarjit Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one. See if he can go three for three. Uh, 402. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure a smooth travel for guests. Remember this, the train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabil bleh, capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Yeah, sure. Totally as well, you were able to retain all this information so quickly. But its brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. Clearly, clearly read the manual, whose, those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. You and... Hmm. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. We don't want to be... Sus blech. Don't we want to be supporting folks you read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire... Reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly, so that's impressive. No, no, I understand. Everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manuals, so I suppose we could... Espy, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that true, and we have evidence to back it up. B? Uh, piece of evidence. Okay, yeah. Mm. I guess the lock? Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell. What does this have to do with anything? We're at B. Card to get to the saloon car where he spit the original or where he set the original high score in the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. I wasn't the high scores it wasn't the high score of long. Crocs are natural gamers. Espo said he saw Shadow enter the library card, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector never came back. Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car, so there's absolutely no way Shadow and, Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it's a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice in Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up. Well, I you see, I can sense the SPO's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would SPO leave? Shadow locked out the doors and no one saw SPO in the, in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear B. One that I would love for SPO to solve. You gotta believe me. The cold demeter is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. Blech. I'm in such a hard time. Vector returned. He, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. 
Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tells definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting, reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Join Tails. No, I cannot interrupt Tails when he's onto something. I'll let him continue with this line of questioning and... Be my favorite and beloved employee, please. Protect these passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. I have to make sure I guess you're taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails. We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. A piece of evidence that shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another. All right, let, now let's get my thoughts in order. Aye. The exits, they're right across from one another, a straight path. Shadow walked down the straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out exactly where on the map he's mean. Um... That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have been couldn't have seen one another from the spot. Because the bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It all makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all of our questions. But we did it! Another pair of alibis validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Oh, that was me talking. And that's our clue to leave. Our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SPO. Give them heck, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose. All doors keep getting locked. Tick tock, tick tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're, re we're really doing this. Come on, let's go see what's next. You sure, you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? He's so cute! Uh, let's go. I've seen part of this one. Um, hold on. A 
All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll drop what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said that they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the microwave master with you. Ah, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have been... have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell them, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Tre treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor, purveyor of fine collectibles, I'm about to quit because I can't talk anymore. I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. All right, well, it's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that sounds extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything is well taken care of. She wrote me out on the hat immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduce that the Fabergé Chow egg is here in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure's real? It's actually here? What did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh well, don't you both take a look. <clears throat> Found the train's blueprints in the library card with the safe code written right on it. Score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints. Please, Ruse, let us see that. Ah, find your keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? Ele <laughs> Elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow Egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this. I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lore, lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. B, do you have an opinion on this? Time for a five finger discount. I'll well, suppose that both Blaze and B are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow egg. That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> Access to the Fabergé Chow egg room is behind a locked up elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we? Uh, do we attack him, bribe him, or distract him? I feel like attacking him would be bad because he's so cute and tiny. Probably distract him. Distract him, perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a nice thing to say. Hey, is everything okay? You've never seen you smile like that. Seems I don't know how to take a compliment. I'm gonna be in a casino. My poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting? Um... Rouge. Of course I'll distract them. Who could resist my feminine charms? I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Plus your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being this distraction makes sense. Oh well, fair enough. Let's think over again. Um, let's do tails. Sure, I could be the distraction. I don't like the way he said that. Vito. I'm with Blaze. His delivery was shaky. No, no, really, I, I could do it. Sorry, buddy, I think you'll be better off somewhere else. Alright, I guess it's Blaze. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Her voice was so stoic, I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Hmm. <laughs> Ask the chow about their partner and kids. Push a bunch of poker chips on the floor. Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Who puts a claw machine in a casino? This will work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. The guard distracted Bruges. How do you get the access, to the, get the access card? 
grab them and fly them up to the rafters. As for the card, pick their pocket. Uh, pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That chow uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent picking, Calumny Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. B, what's your plan? Say there's a drink without a coaster, push the security guard over, pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Uh, absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never let, allow such a thing in my kingdom. The card will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great, with the, <laughs> the card distracted, we'll all head over to the elevator. And just like that, we'll make it in the elevator. Inside, we... Uh... Celebratory dance. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Uh, high five each of them. Into those arms or claws, I'm not touching them. High fives aren't given away willy-nilly, they're to be cherished. I don't think my hands would survive a high five from them. Let's rethink. Um, they all humor my suggestion. How oddly polite of them. I should be able to just disengage them. I'll just need some time. That leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Uh. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Tails managed to do it. Tilings, I'm happy to say this. This plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up with that elevator. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. Oy. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit. And it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé Chow Egg. What could they possibly be storing in all these? It's the casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings too? Rings? You can find those lying about in the grass. That's, no, that's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real price, shall we? Right, we gotta find the safe with the Fabergé chow egg inside. I guess it's the giant safe. No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see, 230401. April 1st, 23. That's cute. Oh wow! It's here! Ha! Huh? I have it! Alright, before anyone sees us, let's gotta get out of here! Hold on, kiddo. Can't be so hasty. You truly think that there's all that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secrets. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to the secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it! Uh oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell? The egg's secret because of each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all of our hard work? Rouge! Fine, fine, but what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Oh my god. Ah. Uh... Throw and lock it in the safe, eat the egg, take one for the team, open up and see if there's wires to cut, smash the egg against the wall, have please set the egg on fire, let Tails cool it down with his tails, stomp on the egg, rock the egg to sleep, let Rouge kiss the egg, chaos control the eggs away, flip the egg upside down, tell the egg to stop, let it finish ticking and see what happens. Uh, 
Uh, let's throw it and lock it in the safe. Quickly, put the egg back, Rouge. Uh, okay, fine, I'm going back in. Tails, the safe will lock. The door's staying open? What? Close the door and twist the dial. I obviously am. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to... I don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Uh, eat it. Not without any salt, I won't. Really, B? <laughs> uh, take one for the team. Here, give it to me. Get as, get as far away from me as possible. Just remember me as I am. A hero. No, B, we won't let you do that. I mean, if that's what they want to do, who are we to set the microwave kids? Obviously not going to sacrifice themselves. Their body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. True. Let's think of something else quickly. Uh, let her kiss the egg. As they say, love always prevails. Still hear the ticking. Hmm, what a prude. Uh, flip it upside down. Ew, what's flipping upside down gonna do? I don't know, try it. <laughs> Nothing happy. Yes. <laughs> uh, stomp on it. Just how I like my eggs. Smushed. I'm guessing you don't like this idea. Obviously not. Uh, let's finish. Are you insane? Do you want us just to blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb B. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. B, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Let's put it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just SPO did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Okay, um, let's see. Efficient and extremely accurate technology that was installed to insist in keeping the train spotless. Robotic arms. You can also detect weapons or explosives being brought into the train, ensuring passenger safety. <sighs> Sorry. This robotic or robot arms that attack us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. Balma has was brought onto the train disguised as this Fabergé chow egg. The arms would have detected it, and it wouldn't have been allowed on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and surely he wouldn't allow such a thing either. So, if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. The egg opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Phew. And by well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. A hunch was right, thankfully. Eee, look what's inside. Ew. Wow, look at that sparkle. It's so heavy too. Final secret to the Fabergé chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. He said no one lived to tell the Fabergé child's egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call, let's go. No one seems to suspect anything. The security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdue the street coaster fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I prefer to never do it again. Now Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What, what? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we can take a look? While I appreciate your assistance, it is as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer just in case I miss any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. 
can't just add sweethearts to the end of sen sentence to make it things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. I mean, lock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we've also had just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, B. Let's head out. Mystery continues. Tails, we must search the trash bin. Uh, it's empty. Oh? Oh? Did I hear an O? Oh? I always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. See, see, it's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me that when I met my mother, when he met my mother, he would have he would drive to her work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. That's uh, very sweet, but that, all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. A uh, lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's there. B? B, is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? Just leave me be. Hmm. That doc that's Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does deal a lot with casinos. He's an evil scientist that's always caused trouble for us in Sonic. Huh. Every poker chip I've personally, I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it, so I'm not too surprised to see this here. That's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be so surprised then. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. I play blackjack? I don't know how to play that. Let me show you. B, we simply don't have time for this. We, need, we must have been Sonic. Holy good point. Slots? Yeah. Alright, big money, big money. Oh, I lost. Try again? Yeah. Big money. I lost. Yep. What do you expect to happen if you keep playing? Big money? Let me get this. Get it this time, you'll see. I lost. Maybe next time? Yes. I lost. You know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails, I got it this time. I lost. Should I try again? Yeah. Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? Sunk cost fallacy? Oh, boy. The phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they have invested heavily in it, even when it is clear that abandonment would be more beneficial? Of course I've heard of it. Why do you ask? No reason. Alright, big money. I guess I guess I don't ever get to win. One more. Nah. Oh, thank goodness. I really thought I lost you there for a second. Haha, <laughs> yeah, let's go. He's so cute! Ready to get going? Yes. Mm. Oh, I love the chow band. They're so cute. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. Try to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I no reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, what's going on? Hmm, I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your micro chili dog's delicious. 
I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout this train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Oh. I'm not saying a thing. You, you lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, B, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. It's time to do some investigating. Indubitably. Alright. Sure, wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? But if something falls out, or worse, someone leaps out. I just think you should do it. Oh, I'll do it. Alright, watch bro. All this dust, you open the door. All this dust, you open the door too fast. You blow it everywhere. Do you see tip? Do you see this? A pull string? What? It's gotta activate something. Back the wardrobe open. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Oh, I wanted to look first. Oh. This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shush. Quick, back the passage before they spot us. Ooh. We need to add that to our inventory. Uh, let's see. There's another robot arm just doing his thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Uh, give me a high five. It doesn't seem to be listening to you, but I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. They're so cute. Hey, it's a big chow band. Give us a jam. That was spiritual. Bill reawakened. Hmm. Key ring. This must be Shadow. This must be Shadow's, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figure a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Tells you have to check this out. Ah, oh, there's big. These windows are huge. What a view! Didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice, I'd be on. Uh, so it'd be nice to be on. I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering there. Despite the alert murder lingering in there. I just thought the same thing. Seems the printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Uh Sonic rowing a boat. Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky. Yeah, the user interface is very clear, but I won't let it stop me. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Trash can! Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, B. You've been disappointed every time. Are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin? There's always something in the trash bin. Uh, Alright, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Haha! Someone printed out the front page of a t ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? I should add it to her inventory. Are you sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. I think we found enough clues. So we should go interrogate. But I want to check. Lounge has a computer complete with the internet access to for casual browsing. How lovely! Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Alright. Why'd you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me to be. That stare, so cold. 
you know, maybe we will get out here actually. B, we will certainly not. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. I'm sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door on this train and I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking all these doors? Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for Ren one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car then locked all the others so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all, get out of here and leave me be. Well, the Mesaurus can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims that they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Does the logic sound, though, with Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think B and I can explain the car change, however. But evidence shows that Sonic could have gotten to the dining car. Uh, the keys. Oh, okay. a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? Oh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> a secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, B. Taylor! Welcome in. You missed the butt game. It was... It was a game. Kind of. This just my theories a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the t conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. How's it going, Taylor? <laughs> Amy picked up- oh, I'm sorry. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. No, this is not the butt game. This is Sonic getting murdered. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I, uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha, seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then we'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, it was called, uh, Shirime, uh, the Curse of the Butt Eye. It was $3.50 and took a whole 42 minutes to finish. <laughs> Then how did Espion Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. How many guesses? Oh, well, Espion Vector didn't see Shadow because... I mean, yeah, Vector was with Knuckles. That's true, Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. She didn't see... No, it's Shirime. Uh, it's, it's an actual, like, Japanese demon where... Instead of an anus, you have a, an eye. Um, it it was it was something. 
actually may. <laughs> it was, it was, it was definitely something. It was interesting. And I think it caused my, uh, my graphics card to crash. So I had to restart the stream. See, things are falling into place. But what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. <laughs> yeah, he's he's so bored, and he, he's the one that picked this game, and he's so bored. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me to do, or told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at the at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. Spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe, like I believe, or hmm, like I believe you. <laughs> You're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? We must know. I needed to give him a key. As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps B and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? What evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving away keys? I mean, he's only got two left. Techie fell asleep. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those keys were those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espion Vector. No way. But well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car. Then what possible reason could he have had for locking all these doors? She's right, her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think B and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. B? Ah, uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car, locking the exits. He gave everyone stationed in the, in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock the doors and not give us a key? Wanted to keep us away. Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, B. I'm making a huge leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh, how dare it be? Show me some evidence. Shadow was trying to keep me away. Prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay. Uh, he didn't want her to know about that.
beings. I feel like rooting through the trash. Huh? What was that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band tickets website, Ticket Town. <laughs> Tails don't. <gasps> this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is uh, my f current favorite. All the members have B af after their name. <gasps> I'm in the band. Yes, isn't it cute? I haven't got to any of their shows yet to see them, though. The tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation has become much clearer. I don't know how Tails figure things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey's band ticket website exists because... He was buying tickets for Amy. What? Shadow? Is this true? Are you trying to give me concert tickets for my birthday? Done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Sh Shadow! I used that printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. I'm logging into onto the website. How did you print the homepage by accident? Well, the yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this! After I accused you of murder! Spill everything, Shadow! The cat's out of the bag! I want to know everything! Fine. The surprise is ruined, anyway. Oof, probably our fault there. Ah, sorry, that's our- that's all a detective's job is, suppose. <sighs> well, right from the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and found some blech, saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live, and I looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely, I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, or but for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the doctor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten you through every locked door. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw: the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow Eye, your gesture's so sweet, and after I accused you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later and make it up to you. You can come with me. I, uh, don't know if... Too late, it's happening. Eee, I can't wait. Show of a lifetime. Ugh, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Seems a mystery the Shadow's locked door has finally reached to the end. I blame my source for all of this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I'm curious. Who is the source of your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly convert, confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. I'm more than happy to have you both. B, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tales. We'll pin down Sonic's murder for good. Right on, then. Let's do it. I need drink. Let's go. It's now or never. Do I see a 
poison blow dart? It's really sort of my evidence before I continue. My short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when we left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, let's time to investigate. Let's crack on. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? Papa Joe in your hand, wife by your side. Paradise. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his wife. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? Start beatboxing. Why are you reaching for the mic? Just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, B. Thank you for sharing. Trash! You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say I always ship the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Hmm, what's this? Someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart, that's a blue dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Huh, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right, the train detects any weapons on a passenger before uh, letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. Notice these screens rather than try your train. Yeah, they're used to show information in advertisements. They're nice. The picture's really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. Oh, a slide that said happy birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal med medication was a little jarring, though. The high quality screens probably didn't do any that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Uh, okay, so we've done that. Vent. Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person can fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Oh, uh, the tail's right. Um. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. Oh, he's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me that he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. Any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yeah, I wish that too. Okay, uh... Didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. They teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, I just know. I just worked the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, oh, guys. Um, I guess this is it. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out, out of its grip. A lot of people here have had the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye aye. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Well, you two? You think you have enough evidence to, for me to call everyone here? It's high time we've named the suspect. What do you think? Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and solve it. It's about time I need to go to bed anyway. Hello everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Hmm. Felt like there was more people. Oh, I guess Sonic's dead, so. Wonderful to have you all here. Nails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from B. 
Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Vector, real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? Or, real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? You must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I feel having... I've been having a lot of fun myself. And am the amusement of a chase. Sorry. I see why you're a detective outside of this mis mystery, SBO. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. So glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train to the route to re just to relax sometimes. I cannot talk anymore. Ah, uh, yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Wait, where's Amy? It, he's not responding to us. Sonic, Sonic! What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I just knew one of you would take it too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Has this really been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask you again. Which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm gonna expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic would handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get into the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. I'm, we're gonna figure out what exactly happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm righting my wrongs. I must take down the murderer. Tails, B, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Nobody? <laughs> I don't know. Who? Who? Okay, I'm gonna save. <laughs> Amy did it. That can't be right. Neither Tails and I can be the murderer. Ah, that's right. Let me pick again. Okay, so... Wouldn't be him or him. The only one that's kind of not been mentioned is Blaze. Uh, oh, well, um... Trying to spot is hard to explain. Okay, so it's not Blaze. SBO. You were the one to murder Sonic. Weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friends. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. For stating, Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. B, could you fill everyone in? What do we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Uh, the hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage in the from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge car, the hidden passage exit behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think B and I can explain that too. B? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? Ninja like him speed reads. Espio's a ninja. He's fluent in 17 languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? 
picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espia is particularly skilled. I've known Espia a long time. I once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what-ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would it Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were even lucky to find the passage. B and I might have not... <laughs> mm. B and I might not have the evidence to answer your question. But we know someone who does. B? Uh, who knew about the... Oh. Fruit, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole... Oh, blueprints. You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are... Okay. This right here is a blueprint for the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I was ever I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, B, do you have an answer for him? Uh found poor Rouge did. Rouge, where'd you find the blueprints? Oh, in the library car, it was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first and found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, es in my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but B and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio could have caused Sonic, but B and I have, have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? What would Sonic do? He would jump and hit rings. dart was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Oh, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart, blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, the blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knock Sonic out in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot. That's a good point. Tails was onto something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up in the library. B and I know another way it could have been done. We do. <laughs> um. Oh. Nope. Getting closer. I don't know. Yay! there. Alright, let's take a look. If 
Espio didn't take the secret passage to get the, to the dining car. And what route did he take to get Sonic there? There's a path above the conductor's car. And it goes all the way to the dining car. Why? Wow, I didn't even see that area. Is that sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. The vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word, there's a path back there and a track. A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path that the arms take to move throughout the train. So here's saying, I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espia's right. This is a f this is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth did I get sunk through that vent? Phew, now to think about my argument. Okay. tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Uncle said that there's a check the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic passed out from passed out from a blow dart and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Has the fight have been between Sonic and Robot Arms? You can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall, fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails, but you have to admit these are a lot of co coincidences. I might not be able to link everything as directed. Mm. Link everything directly to SPO yet getting tired. But I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information and I believe that information came from SBO. Who received that information? Amy. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Nails, you're, you're right. SBO lied to me. Espia told me Shadow was blocking doors to trap Sonic, but we found out Sonic Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? No, no, of course not. Amy must, be, must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yeah, yes, I said uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't want blame Shadow. I don't know, SBO. But what? Evidence might not be airtight, but there is a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? That you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Yeah. And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's, contr the train's controls to move Sonic the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy casting further blame on Shadow for another, no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibi, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could have been only one person. That was you, SBO. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey guys. Sonic, you're okay. Sonic, 
And just as we saw the mystery, Espio was murder. Right. <laughs> this is so silly. Espio jumped in, jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. Blue dart though, really? It's not it's non lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important. I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad name. Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? No, we need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me about the features of the train, but when he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right, as we saw right as we saw the flicky, I felt the sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Espia left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. Arms came for me next. I spin dashed through the robot arm, sliced off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poison. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but as I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no! Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious, why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder, murder these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. We're just following the rules. See? Use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. What is that? It says, okay. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. My and staff, who gave this to you? Come to think of it. One of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? B, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? Uh, the train. I think, I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for good, or for a good while. So I think. The train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's a bad nick, now we, it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train is out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train. Come out and show yourself. Amy. It's my birthday. I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? I need him pissed off the train. What did you two do? Oh, is that the conductor? Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. <laughs> is the train talking? 
Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg, egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games. Ride the open rails. But like we always planned. What are you... Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa. Sonic! <laughs> this is so silly. I love it. Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! No, no! I can't keep my footing. Oh, we died. The end. Ah, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ugh, my head. Tails. Amy? Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? I don't need to yell, bud. So Sonic, I'm so sorry. Are you, uh, you okay? Hanging in there. Seems the train arm throws back to the dining car. Where's everyone else? A great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? I'm doing amazing. I feel terrible. Yeah, things aren't looking the brightest. But when the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Ah, Sonic's just as cool as everyone says. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Is that... Were we only halfway through? Oh, gosh. It's already 12. Alright. Why don't we call it good here? And I'll pick this up again. Um... So I have a feeling it might last a little while longer. Spam save. Alright everybody, well thank you all so much for hanging out tonight. This was, this was fun. Um, I will be back on, let me think, Tuesday. Yeah, I'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, finishing this up and possibly playing something else. But yeah, this was fun. This is actually a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Um... So, yeah, I will see y'all then. See y'all Tuesday. Thanks, everybody. Have a happy Easter.